A data stream is the visual representation of a streaming data pipeline. It is created by a user inside XMPro Data Stream Designer, and a data stream is typically composed through the sequencing of a collection of integration and other services agents, such as listeners, context providers, transformations, functions, uh, AI and machine learning services, as well as action agents. Each data stream is typically constructed around a business use case and it's done by a business user or a subject matter expert. So let me run you through the data stream designer. This is the landing page for the XMPro data stream designer. We have different ways that we can organize or categorize information. It could be done functionally, it could be done around asset classes, it could be done around geographies or locations. And in this instance, the information is, is um, categorized around um, functional areas, so around equipment maintenance, and inside that, um, multiple data streams that feed my use cases or applications of um, equipment maintenance, for example. So these could be uh, pumps, fans, compressors, heat exchangers, um, all around equipment maintenance uh, from a categorization point of view. Now again, th this categorization is shared with the app designer. So when I go into the apps, I see exactly the same uh, categories of equipment. To drill down and just uh, have a quick look at what is inside a data stream, and there are more extensive videos that cover um, the, all the elements and how to configure this and how to put it together. But this is just a high level overview. So this is an example of an XMPro data stream. Um, it is a visual way of representing or building out the flow. You can visually construct all the elements of this and it allows you to build the data flow based on the use case or the application or the problem that you are trying to solve. Again, making it visual uh, makes it really easy to first of all um, construct it and sequence the, the, the different components together from all the building blocks that we have as either listeners, context providers, uh, transformations, machine learning um, and AI capabilities, functions such as fast Fourier's and actions that we want to do in other systems. These are all drag and drop, drag and drop blocks that we drag onto uh, the canvas and we can then sequence and orchestrate in a very visual way what we're trying to do from a data flow point of view. So in this instance, we're bringing in um, flow and pressure from a historian. We combine it with sensor data from a third party sensor that's plugged onto the pump in this example, which gives us vibration and temperature. We combine that. We get the make and model from SAP so we can contextualize the data that we have in this flow and uh, we can check certain thresholds if we want to, but we can then also pass it on to a predictive model to predict whether this is likely to fail. Now that's the visual sequencing. This is the story that I'm telling. I'm connecting data, I'm combining it, I'm bringing in context from, uh, from uh, the um, a business system, in this instance the EAM system, so that I have make and model and maintenance information and something else that I want. Um, I then want to run a predictive model. Um, in the meantime, I want to store some of the records. And once I know that some of the pumps are likely to fail based on this predictive model, um, I can then predict the remaining use for life, running or sequencing another or chaining another predictive model into this data flow that creates this data pipe of intelligent information that starts flowing out. So I start off with big data. I start bringing in um, intelligence and turning it into smarter data. And now I can drive actions inside the data stream um, uh, uh, that we've constructed for this specific use case. So in this one, um, I'm sending out SMSs, starting space and work order requests and and uh, run some recommendation rules at the back. But this is how you um, visually construct the logic, the blocks that are used for that. Again, we have a library, it's extensible library, and there are other videos that, can, that uh, cover this in more detail. But just to give you a high level overview of what the data stream designer is all about.